Well, I've been working in the yard today. I got most of my Christmas stuff up. I got all my trees down off the arch and my deer and my sleigh and all that stuff packed up in the shed. And then I honestly got out here and worked on my four totes that I showed you in one of my other videos. I went ahead and got them leveled up the best I can and uh, got them put up there and I've got uh, broken down wood, I've got cardboard, I've got uh, and that's broken down piece of wood. It just falls apart in your hand. It looks like rocks but it's not <laughs> it's just broken down wood bark it's basically turned into cardboard is what it did but anyway like i said i've got broken down wood i've got some green uh like tomato plants pepper plants and stuff like that that was had died from the coal and i've got those under the dirt i put those down in there and i've got newspaper cardboard and then I've got native soil on top and with some more of this broken down tree right here. <laughs> but I'm going to put a little bit more soil on top of it. I've just got those for the bottom. But I get, got all of them fixed that way. So they'll be settling down. So when we get that good rain we're going to get, it'll help wet all that in the tote. It'll help settle it down and it'll start... Uh, turning into compost and I'll be adding food scraps and stuff to it as well I just aren't going to do that today I'm, I'm just I've got wore myself out I got so tired I mean I not only set up the totes I took all of my Christmas decorations down got it stored away in the shed um, all I think I've got left now is the reef that's hanging in the end window facing my street I haven't taken that out of the window yet but I will but I uncovered my uh, plants and look at my bean plants look at that they survive that 10 degree temperature look at there some of them got wilted down but I'm hoping that they're going to sprout back up but for the most part they're looking pretty good and look at this I've got uh I don't know if you can see it. They're so small. The little sprouts right at the end of my finger. That is the leek. The leek sprouts. Right there. And there's one over here. I don't know if you can see it. They're so tiny. But. And see my lettuce? I don't know. I haven't seen the. Well one of them tried to sprout up. One of my winter squash. But I don't know if it's going to make it right there. So we'll see about that. But I checked on my other stuff. Um, some of the spinach is okay, look. And some there. It killed a little, a couple of them, but not many. And you can see there the plant is still alive, right there. These I don't know about. <laughs> <coughs> but from the most part of it, the seeds hadn't come up yet. See, there was no seeds come up in there yet. And some of that survived. You can see it right there. I just laid something over the top of it. I mean, see? You can barely see that, I guess. But it's alive right there. And one right there. And in here. I mean, it's nothing to brag about, but I think they'll come back. You know, it kills some of the leaves, but I think the plant for itself is going to be okay. Right along with this one. You can see it. And look at that one. And right there. You 
we get that rain we're supposed to get all the seeds that haven't come up or should be coming up like I said some of the plants look kind of bad like that one looks kind of bad but it looks like the base of it is still alive so it may spray sprout back out we'll wait and see that one there got one right here and get the camera on it so we'll take a look at some of my other stuff Now the spinach in there, I don't know. Some of it's kind of wilted down. But it may it may pop back up. I don't know. Some of my broccoli. The stalks, the leaves are dead, but the stalk is still green. So that may even come back out. I uncovered my broccoli in the tower. It's not looking too bad. And as you know, I did harvest it before the fro everything froze, so we'll see. You can see that one, some of the leaves that were left on it kind of don't look too good, but it's still alive, so it should put out more leaves. That one down there. My garlic. <laughs> yeah. It got the pepper plant. So I don't have any hope for the pepper plant there, but again, the broccoli stalk, or the uh, Brussels sprouts, the stalks are still alive, so. If they survive right on through and it, we get a heavy rain, they'll start putting out uh, more leaves and maybe go start heading up some Brussels sprouts too. You can see here my collard, some of the leaves froze and died but the plant itself is still alive so it'll come back the little one didn't fare as good the main plant looks like it's still alive so it may have a chance but the leaves on it burn up from the coal that freezing temperature haven't planted anything in well I did plant I plant carrots and beets and parsnips right there, but they didn't have a chance to even sprout yet, so I, I didn't worry about them. But everything else pretty much gave in to those 10 and 12 degree temperatures that we had. So, I've been busy getting um, some of the dead plants off of the trellis here because I need to put the foot section to it that I've still got that you know I didn't put it to it before because it's not quite as heavy or not as high as the main trellis up there because it'll go up about another foot so I need to get those on the two of them this arbor here and this one right here I've still got another foot section of uh, that I need to put to the bottom of it to raise it up that way if uh, the tomatillos and tomatoes and stuff grow up on it again this summer like they did last summer they won't be hanging down hitting my head but I'll have to get a step stool or something to stand on to be able to get up high enough to pick anything off of it I'm sure but that's okay. Let me check my door out here. I don't know if I locked it back. I had to basically empty everything out of the shed and put it back to be able to get my Christmas decorations put in there right. And see, I didn't get my... I 
I lost a knife out here today. I don't know where I laid it, but it'll show up sooner or later, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I still got my poinsettias here. I need to put those in the shed. I'll do that maybe tomorrow. But what I wanted to do was bring y'all in the house because I wanted to show you something. Something else I've been working on. And I'm thinking about, uh, whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, spring planning when I'm going to do this. Or thinking about it when I did this. Let me get this camera situated so you can see what I'm doing. But, I am going to root my own tomato plants. I mean, not tomato plants, onions. See that one right there? It's putting out growth. And it's got roots. Well, I can't show you without taking it up, I guess. Because the roots aren't that long yet. But look at the roots coming off of that onion. And you can do it with the red onions or the white onions or the yellow onions. But I wanted to show you how I did that and how I'm doing it because they're not big enough yet. They'll get way big. I mean, they'll make uh, onion sets for you. And they'll put out a ton of roots so later you'll be able to pull those plants apart and you'll be able to plant your own free onion sets. And this is how I did it. I took a, a water bottle. And it's stuck to my fingers. You don't need the top. But what you'll need to do is start you a hole in it. See, I know I've got a hard hole in there. And then just cut around it to cut the top off the bottom. And what that's going to do, it's going to make you a planner. You'll be able to put the top upside down, just like that, right in your bottle. And you'll need to fill it with water. Let's see. I've got something I can fill with water for you. But what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm fixing my own onion sets. And I'm going to try planting my own, making, rooting my own onion sets. And you need to fill it up just till it comes up to the bottom of the comes up to the bottom of the top that you just put in there. <coughs> and then what you're going to do is just take an onion, just like that. You can use a green onion, a yellow onion, or a white onion. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to cut all the outer peelings off of it, just like you normally would if you're going to eat an onion. Oops, I cut that and I'm not supposed to. But peel, peel, peel it off. <laughs> just like you would if you were going to eat that onion. And then cut some of the look, just a little bit of the bottom. 
so it's not so hard for the water to get it. You don't have to cut the whole bottom off, just a little bit. And then cut it about one-third of the way up. That's about a third of the way up, right there. You can see how much I got cut. And then you're just going to put it right down in your lid. Well, <laughs> you want to get it level. Make sure your water goes up into the bottom of your top. Sometimes these onions can get a little big. And if you're using onions that are bigger than your lid, then you're going to have to get a bigger bottle, basically. Yeah, but just put your onion right down in there. Just like that. And in a couple of days, it's going to start sprouting up. And it'll put out plants just like this one over here did. And then by springtime, or in just a couple of weeks, I'm going to have my own onion sets that I can break apart and I can put out in my garden to plant. I may put some of them in one of the totes out there. I don't know. But, yeah, you don't want to get an onion that's so big you can't get it down in there when you cut it off. But that's about a third of the onion I cut off of there. And it goes right down in there. And that's about the perfect size. And what I've been doing, I'm going to show you up here. I got this old air conditioner in my window, and it's been there forever. And it's got a, like a shelf where it comes off of the, or comes through the window. You can see there it's got a shelf on it. I don't use this AC anymore, and I need to get it out of the window. But, you know, you got it costs money to get anything done. So I put it right there in the window, and I'm going to put this one right beside it. Get it in there to level. Well, my onion is not level. <laughs> I guess I'm too fussy. But anyway, I'm going to put the new one I just cut right beside it. And I'm going to check it in a few days. And I'm going to see how it is. Now, the first one I did is actually in a Coke bottle or a Pepsi bottle. They're just a tiny bit bigger than the water bottle. So if you've got little onions that you're going to cut, you can put them in the water bottles. If the bigger you have the bigger onion, you're going to need a Coke bottle. Or a Pepsi bottle. Or maybe even a, a Mountain Dew bottle. It's not going to hurt it if it's a green one. But every time I use onions now, from now through spring, I'm going to be putting them in bottle tops like this. So they'll root. And I'll be able to have my own onion sets for this summer to plant. And then I just cover it up. Nobody even knows they're up there. But like I said, I do need to get this AC unit out of the window. It's just been sitting there for years. I haven't done it. Um, it's not been a, one of my priorities. But I did make a mess, didn't I? But anyway. And I wanted to get some kind of a thumbnail with that. Let's see. Yeah, the Pepsi bottle works a lot better than the um,
water bottle. Because the Pepsi bottle is just a little bit bigger. And then, too, the onion, you can see the onion has swiveled up a little bit. But you, you have it out of the water like this, and there's just a little bit of water going up the top of the bottle that will hit the bottom of that um, onion top down in there. You can see right there. And it's enough that the roots will start going down through the top of the bottle, down into the bottom of the, bo the uh, remainder of that bottle there. It'll grow from the top and go down. And it keeps the onion up out of the water so the onion itself doesn't rot. You don't want the, the onion to rot or it'll never grow. So you got to ev <laughs> elevate it just a tiny bit so it doesn't rot on you. And I keep turning it around. But that's my trick for some nice good onion plants onion sets for this summer this spring that you'll be able to grow yourself just from the uh, onions just cut a third of the onion off the bottom and put it in the lid put it in the water set it on there and you can grow your own onion sets just like i am i was going to wait and show you when it got bigger but and show you when I actually broke them apart. But I wanted to let you get started now. On doing that. So you'll get a jump on getting your own onion sets grown for this summer. This spring. And I will, you know, show them later in the video when I do break them apart. And I get ready to plant them. To show you how they ended up. And with that, I'm going to wish you a great day. I hope you all have a safe and, and happy new year this week. Weekend. Be safe if you're going out anywhere. For myself, I stay home on New Year's. I'm safer right here at my house than I am going out anywhere because I know people will be celebrating. They're going to be drinking alcohol and driving. and I'm just going to stay home. That's what I do. I don't think I've ever went to a New Year's party but one time. And the time I attended the New Year's party is because I was working there. And that was the only reason I attended is because I was actually on duty working. It's not because I was just there partying. But please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Hit the thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all have a great week.